Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lane, if you don't know me, and today I'm going to be doing my favorite products of the of 2019. These are just some beauty products, some hair products, some skincare, body care, and just some other random things that I have been loving throughout the year, and I just wanted to share with you. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into it. So the first section I'm just going to start with is the makeup section. So these are going to be products that have that are related to makeup that I have just been loving lately. So for the first product I will be talking about is the Urban Decay Perversion um, Bigger Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. So this one's just a black mascara and it's meant for like volume. It's got a very big and full brush. And this one's just very good at completely coating the lashes, making them look very black and making them look very voluminous and very, very curled when they're up. If you can tell, I'm wearing it today. The next product I have is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. It just looks like this and it, it's a nude eye primer that makes your eyeshadow hold in place for super, super long, all day long. It Like, it won't budge. It's very easy to blend out. I just take... A, a nude eyeshadow on top of the primer after I let it sit for about two minutes. I just put that on top and to set the primer and I can just do my eyeshadow and blend it right after that and it works perfectly. It looks so good and it stays in place all day long. This next beauty product is the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette in the, the Topaz one. Just looks like this in the front. This palette is gorgeous. Just looks like this on the inside. It has four shimmer shades and five matte shades for a total of nine shadows. It has a really nice mirror right here. And it's very small and compact, so it's very easy to travel with. And it's got a great variety of um, nude shades with like some deeper ones, some ones for blending out in the crease. And then this middle one is what I would use to set my eye primer like I just talked about. So these are what the swatches look like of the palette. The, it starts from it starts from this side with this one being the top right or the top left. This is the top middle, top right, right, middle left, middle, middle right, bottom right, left, bottom middle, and this one up here is the bottom right. My favorites are this shade, this shade, and this shade. I love shimmer shades, and these shades are beautiful, and I love them. The next product is another mascara. This one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one is a very, very nice mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It has like the hourglass, hourglass wand shape. And it's very good at lengthening and volumizing. And it literally is perfect for your lashes. This is the waterproof version. But I also love the just the regular one, the pink bottle. So this one is a very good product as well. The next product I'm going to be talking about is a new one, and I've only got to try it out a little bit, but I am so far in love with it. This is the Jaclyn Hill Beaming Light Loose um, Highlighting Powder in the Amped color. It looks very, very pretty. just looks like this on the inside. And this is stunning. This looks so pretty. I'm just going to swatch this real quick for you. right here it's a gorgeous color the next product i have is the buxom full-on plumping lip cream gloss in hot toddy this is just a really pretty um kind of pinky nude color i'll just swatch it real quick this gloss has a lot of pigment to it and i, I can wear it alone or i can wear it on top of lipstick and it looks gorgeous either way the next one I want to talk about is the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This one's just the mini version, but this one is a gorgeous gold highlighter. It's super, super creamy and very easy to blend out. It's right there. It's stunning and I am in love with this highlighter. I used it all year round, all the time. The next one I want to talk about is my Too Faced Gingerbread 
um, the gingerbread palette. This one's the one from last year. This isn't the extra palette. This is just the regular gingerbread palette. This is just what it looks like inside. It's got gorgeous, um, very, some pinky, some neutral, just some pops of color. It has a great mirror right here. And I am in love with this palette. I'm going to swatch a couple for you real quick. So this one's Spiced Eggnog. This is Frostbite Me. This one is Hot Toddy. This one's Warm and Toasty. This one's Bake It Till You Make It. This one's Gingerbread Latte. This one is Spice Is Nice. This one is Gumdrop. This one is Figgy Pudding. And this one is Looky at My Cookie. So those are just, those are 10 of the, the 18 shadows that are in this palette. It's $42 and it gives you a lot of different colors for a very good, very, for a very good price for an, a high end eyeshadow palette. And I am in love with this palette. This palette is gorgeous. Next favorite I want to talk about is also another, um, Another eyeshadow palette. This one is the N D Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is gorgeous and this one's $25. So if you were wanting to try out Natasha Denona, this is where I'd go. These colors are gorgeous. I'm going to swatch them for you real quick. So these are the colors of the palette. These ones are super pretty. There's three shimmers and two mattes. So I would use this one for my inner corner, these two in my crease, and then this one or this one on my lid. And they're super, super pretty. They're super blendable and they're super creamy. So they make your eyes look really, really good. Your lid looks wet when you put the shimmery shadows on them and they're absolutely stunning. The next favorite I want to talk about is the MAC lipstick in the cream in your coffee. It just looks like this and it's this very pretty nudish brown color. Just looks like this. These ones are very creamy and they look super good on the lips. I'm actually wearing my next favorite, which is another MAC lipstick. I love these lipsticks and I can't stop wearing them. I want to invest in lots more. So like I just said, the next one is another MAC lipstick. This one is in the shade Cosmo. It's very similar to the last one, but this one's just a little bit more pinky. This one's what I was wearing on the lips today. And along with my next favorite, I paired it with the MAC Lip Pencil in Divernish. It just looks like that. They match very, very well. They're both very pinky nude and they are stunning on the lips, as you can tell. Now, this next favorite is actually a brush collection. I don't have all I don't have all of them right next to me, but these ones are some of the 12 that come inside the morphe glance party eye brush collection they just come in this really nice purple bag and there's 12 eye brushes in it and they are gorgeous they're very easy to work with they're all different shapes and all different sizes so you always find a brush that you would be able to use in here and i love these brushes and i want more morphe collection brushes because morphe brushes are my favorite now moving on to the body care items, we're going to start with a cult classic. Everyone loves this one. This is the Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's I have a very small version, one from my Allure Beauty Box. And then I have the travel size one, which is $20 at Sephora. It's The small one is 2.5 fluid ounces, and this thing is huge. It's going to last me forever. I have not opened this one yet because I'm trying to get through this one. But this is a very moisturizing and hydrating um, lotion. You just put it on your body and it's meant to tighten up your skin and make you feel nice and moisturized. It's great for the winter months because it locks in that moisturization and it has an amazing scent. This scent is awesome and I love this. I want to purchase more of the Brazilian bum bum cream scent like the perfume or the shower gel or something else like that Now my next favorite is the juicy couture Ra Ra Rouge perfume I keep it in this box because the box is absolutely gorgeous, but the perfume bottle is even more pretty 
it just looks like this it has a little crown on the top for the to hold the spray and this scent is beautiful the bottle is beautiful and i am in love with this perfume the scent is amazing the fragrance notes in this perfume are mandarin red plum pineapple mugen jasmine sam sambach peony musk vanilla and sandalwood it's a very sweet scent and i it smells so good you should definitely invest in this bottle it's not that pricey either it's 49 dollars. my next favorite is the mark jacobs perfume it's the daisy one this is just the miniature bottle but this one smells so good i am in love with this perfume and i want to purchase the full size because this one is so pretty and so the full size bottle is just as pretty as well the notes in this perfume are violet leaves, wild strawberry, violet petals, jasmine bouquet, musk, and vanilla infusion. This scent is so good. It smells just like daisies and it smells like, it's a very florally scent. So if you don't like floral, then I wouldn't get this, but I love this scent. The big bottle is $106, which I know is a little bit pricey, but this is so worth it because it smells so good. My next body care favorite is a self tanner. This is an Allure winning, this is a, an Allure award winning um, self tanner. It was the 2018 um, Reader's Choice Award. And this is the Jurgens Natural Glow Gradually, um, Gradual Self Tanner, the medium to tan uh, color one. Just looks like this. You just put it on like you'd put on a regular lotion and then you'll it'll while it's set in a couple hours you'll be tan and it gradually tans you so that it doesn't look crazy in one day the more you apply the darker you'll be so you can apply multiple days so that you can be multiple or very dark and this also moisturizes your your skin at the same time it's so good i've used this for a couple years now and i love it my next favorite is the Bath and Body Works Shower Gels. This one is in a great scent. This one's the Raspberry Sugar, but I love some other ones like the Warm Vanilla Sugar, some of their other um, winter, their winter scents, some of their fall scents. Um, I like the White Citrus one from their regular collection, and these are super, super moisturizing. I use them in the shower every single day, and I love the scent of these, and you should definitely go to Bath and Body Works and check out some of these scents because these are so good. And for this huge bottle, they're so inexpensive. They're $12.50, and plus Bath and Body Works is always having a sale, so you can always get some of these for super, super cheap, or you can get some of them for even free if you buy a couple of them. So you should definitely go to Bath and Body Works and check these ones out. My next body care favorite is the Parasil Coconut Scrub. It's made with virgin cold pressed coconut oil and crushed coconut husk. I like to, this is very, very moisturizing. I love to use this in the shower and I'll just, I'll scrub my dead skin off and exfoliate my skin and then I'll go in and I'll shave my legs and my legs will be super, super soft after and there'll be no extra hair because I was able to get all of the hair, all of this dead skin off from my hair so that my hair follicles weren't stiff. Like, so that my razor wasn't getting my, through and not being able to get to my hair follicles. This is so good, and I definitely think you should look into this or look into an um, exfoliating scrub to use in the shower because they work wonders, and I love them. My last body care favorite, I actually got in a FabFitFun box. I can't really pronounce the brand name, but I'm going to try. It's Nasink, I think. It's a Thirsty Hands hand mask. You just put these on your hands, leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes, and your hands are super, super moisturized. I used one the other day, and I love them. My hands feel so moisturized now, and they feel so great. They were very, very dry because of the cold, because I live in New York, and it's very cold here right now, but they are so good at what they do. They blocked in so much moisture, and plus with these, is you're still able to use your phone or like do anything while you're doing them. And it's super, super nice because then you're not just sitting there bored doing nothing. So I love these. The next category we're gonna be moving on to is the skincare category. So this one's the pharmacy, the pharmacy, um, pharmacy skin green, green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. This got the best of beauty allure award in 2017. This is just, I just keep it in the box. This is just a cleansing balm that you use to take off your makeup. It just looks like this. And just looks like this on the inside. 
And what you do is you take this little spatula and you just put it into the, you put it into the uh, balm. Then you put it on your face and you clean, and you rub it into your face and it'll turn into an oil and it'll remove all of your makeup. It won't leave any leftover mascara or um, foundation or anything left on your face. And it's just gonna, it moisturizes it as it does it and it removes all of the makeup. And it's also a very um, earth environment, for, like it's good for the environment because then you're not using your makeup wipes every single day and throwing them out every single night after you've taken off your makeup. This is reusable and it does not cause anything to be thrown out besides the container when you're done. So this is a great product to use. I love this product. It's very good at taking off my makeup and I've, I've, I've never had makeup stay on after I've used this and taken off all of my makeup properly. I love this stuff and you should definitely look into this stuff. My next favorite is the Sephora, um, either the eye, the face, the lip, the sheet masks. All of them are, this one's just a pomegranate eye one. All of them are great and super, super moisturizing and super good for my skin. They make my skin look so good whether I put them just on my eyes, on my lips, or on my face. The lips one get rid of all of the chapped lips that I have on my face, or that I have on my lip, all of the chappedness that I have on my lips, and they just add so much moisture back to my lips. My face masks. Do, they do so many benefits for my skin. They brighten my skin. They make my skin look more moisturized. They get rid of some of the uneven textures that I don't like. And I love that they're sheet masks because they're so easy and they're so fast. You just put them on real quick. And then in 10 minutes when they're done, you can just peel it off and you just cleanse in, you just rub in the extra product that's left on your face and your face is feeling nice and moisturized. The next product I have is also another eye mask. This one's the Wonder Beauty this is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. They just come, I got this from a FabFitFun box. There's just five, this box came with five. They just come in a package like this. And then you open this package up and there's two under eye masks that just look like this. You just put them underneath your mat, underneath your eyes, leave them on for like 15 minutes. And then all of the, and then it'll get rid of like puffiness, dark circles. Um, it does so much for your eyes. It adds moisture right here and they just feel so good. And that's a great way to relax. Just having like the gold foil, like it feels so nice on your skin. I love it. And then I have a favorite that lots of people like, but this one's the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. So this one isn't the rose water one. This is just the orange one. I take this, I spray this on my face throughout the day, anytime. It put, it just refreshes my face, sets my makeup, and it does great things for your skin. I like it just moisturizes it, and it makes you feel very, very refreshed and very good. This is good for on the go or just staying at home, but just spray it anytime and you'll feel great. This is also another favorite that is very popular recently. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one's the Sweet Candy one, which was a limited edition one. I also have the Berry one that I got in a Sephora Play Box. These are super, super great. I actually use them all throughout the day. I just put it on all the time, and I'm also putting it on at night. It refreshes your lips, it moisturizes your lips, and it's so good. It works so well. This is the best lipstick or lip balm that I've ever used, and I will continue to use this. This huge size, which will last me forever, is only $20, it's a great price, and this thing will last you seriously forever. It also comes with a little spatula that comes in this little package, so you don't have to dip your finger into the pot and get out the product. You can just use the little spatula, and then you can take out the product like that so that it doesn't get contaminated and it always stays clean. I love this product and I will continue to repurchase both, like all of these. Like I want all of them, like right now. My last skincare favorite is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. Just looks like this. It's a, like you put it on as it's like a, just a regular mask that you put on on your face. It'll set and it'll turn to like a whitish color and that's how you know it's done. And then you wipe it off and your skin looks so much brighter. It looks so much better instantly. As soon as you take it off, I love it. It makes your skin look so good and so refreshed and so clean. And it literally pulls out everything. This is a great product and I love this so much. So I just have two hair care favorites. My first one is these Invisibobble hair ties. They are just creaseless 
hair ties that just look like this and they're they don't crease your hair they they're very stretchy and they won't damage or break or anything to your hair they're great they come in multiple different colors i just have the clear ones and the nude ones those ones are my favorite but they also come in black dark brown any color that you would want you can have those but they're so good for your hair and they're much better than the plain regular um just the elastic hair ties that damage your hair and break your hair and cause creases to your hair and they're so good the next product I have is the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Hair Protectant Cream. This is just a mini version, but I love this and I definitely want to buy the full size of this. This is so good at moisturizing and it adds um, heat, prote like it protects you from the heat. It smells amazing and it just, it fixes, it's fixed my hair. It's like, it looks so good on my hair. I have it right now. It's keeping all of my frizz down, all my static down, and this is perfect. I love this stuff, and I will definitely be buying this in the future. My last set of favorites are just some random other favorites that I've had throughout the year that I love. My first one is this Unhide Blanket. It's this huge blanket that looks like this on one side. It's very fuzzy and very soft. And the second side just looks like this and it's like the actual like the faux fur color this blanket is huge i can't even hold it all in the camera so that you'd be able to see all of it it's so comfy and it's so um comfortable and it just keeps you nice and warm and i love to snuggle with it throughout the day and i just it i sleep with it every night it fits my body perfectly and it's such a great blanket my next favorite is this Michael Kors crossbody bag. It's the blush color. This is such a gorgeous, small, nice bag. It has the little MK here. And then when you open it up, it just looks like this inside. It's got three little pockets right here. And then this really big section. This is such a nice bag and it actually fits more than you think it would. I can fit my wallet, my keys, my lipstick. I can fit everything that I would need to fit in here in this nice compact little bag that just fits really nicely over just one shoulder or you can cross it through here and it looks very pretty either way. I love to carry this bag around when I don't want to carry around a really big purse and I'm actually in love with this color. This is a gorgeous blush color and I recommend any bag from Michael Kors. These bags are awesome. Also, there's a little back pocket right here that you could just stick your phone in when you need to set your phone down really quickly or something like that. My next favorite is this Tory Burch Robinson Mini Wallet in Carmen. This is just this is what the outside looks like. It's just a very pretty, small, compact wallet. And then you open it up and it's got three card holders here, three card holders here, and then two sections right here for cash or cards or other things that you want to keep in here. And then it has like just this side has a little zipper pocket for coins. I love having the zipper pocket for coins because I hate the coins falling out everywhere. I never know what's, I never know where to put them when there's not a zipper thing. So I'm so happy that there's a zipper thing in this. It's got lots of room for lots of cards, lots of things that you might, maybe credit cards, debit cards, or rewards cards, or just any cards that you might think that you need your license. And then it's just got these, this one I normally put my cash in. And then this one I just keep like receipts or something in. And it's very small and very compact. If it's actually perfect in this bag right here, I love putting these two together. They look very, very cute. My last favorite of this video is actually the color switch. This is a brush cleaner. So if you, but it like not, it's like a brush cleaner, but not like an actual brush cleaner. Like you can't just clean your brushes off of with this. You have to actually like deep clean your brushes, but this one's just for a quick clean. So if you take a brush and you use one color and then say you want to use another color with the same brush, you just brush it around in this. And this is just going to take off all of the color and all of the shadow that was on the brush or what other other type of brush you were using, maybe a highlight brush or something. It'll take off all of the product that was on the, the brush. And then you can just go in with your new color and put it on put it on your face and your brush is completely clean. This is super, super easy. It's not like, it's not liquid or anything. You just put your brush, your brush in. There's no liquid required, no liquid needed, nothing. And then when this thing gets dirty, you just stick it in some soap and water and clean it. And then it'll go back to this and it's perfect. I love this 
and this is one of my go-to things. I switch my lid color all the time and I love using this because this makes it so much easier so that I don't have to rush and clean my brushes every single day. I can just use this instead and this works super, super nice and comes in very, very handy. I hope you guys like this favorites of the year and it inspires you to go out and try some of these new products. These products are all great and I have loved them through for so long. I have tried them out for a very long time and I am obsessed with them. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!